All right, so this is the second half of the journal and ATC impromptu live stream. I went in and tried to adjust stuff and I don't think it worked. <laughs> uh, I'm going to wait just a minute to make sure everyone can see me again. Make sure that the link is working. Oh, I just... <laughs> Oh my god, I just hit the camera. <laughs> it went flying. Did you see that? Holy crap. <laughs> All right. So there we go. Can you see me now? <clears throat> Excuse me. So I just want to make sure that people can see me before I go on here. Okay, good. All right. So I went into the camera settings, and it won't let me change anything. Uh, it won't, all, it, it, nothing came up. I don't even know how to describe what happened. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to have to Google it and take some more time with it. Yeah, I did. I knocked over the camera. But it's okay. I caught it. <laughs> yeah, refresh and try again. So I just want to make a note here for people who um, come in. There I am. Okay. If you're just joining me, please click part two. There we go. And I just want to share the link again for people who are just joining me. This is a test, so <laughs> totally unprofessional today. All right, so now I'm going to use some Liquitex Basics Brilliant Purple. Oh, but first, I want to try this again. I'm going to spray my paper with a little bit of the fluid and water. And now I'm going to start. See how it's more watery now? Oh, I keep hitting the lamp. So I'm just doing some funky brush strokes here. I want the brush strokes to show. I want them in different directions. So you can see how it made it more, um, I know I love this color, it's like a lavender. But you can see how the flow aid has made the, um, the paint just kind of float on the top of the paper really. I think I want more flow aid on this one. I'm going to spray a little bit more on that one too. So you can see where I've sprayed the flow aid. It's got these like water droplets, but not really. I keep hitting the lamp. The lamp is not in a good place. There we go. Am I still? Yes. Can someone let Marilyn know that I am here and maybe help her? Because I don't have anyone to moderate today. Oh, I like those bubbles. I mean, the water drops. So it just makes your acrylic paints a little bit more fluid, the flowy. That's what it does. So now I think what I want to do, thank you, is I'm going to spray some more flow aid here on this page that has the most purple and let it set for a second. And then I'm going to take this page and lay it on top. So I'm just going to fold that over and lay it on top. It's not quite straight, but that's all right. I'm just pressing together. And then I'm going to pull it apart and see what I get. Ooh, that's pretty. Very pretty, very pretty. I don't know if you can see it. Can you see the detail? Thank you. Yeah, Marilyn, I'm live, but 
<laughs> I'm kind of a hot mess today. <laughs> There's no rhyme or reason to what's happening today. <laughs> yeah, if you can see the purple on the pages, then I'm live. If you see uh, cream on the pages, then you are watching the recording of the first half, and you need to go to part two. So I'm now using Liquitex Basics Quinacridone Magenta, and I'm just kind of adding some little dots here. Nothing major, just blobbing it on there. I love that word, blobbing. I don't want too many. So I'm going to do more of the flow aid. Yay, okay, so there's no delay. It's got to be on your end, Vanessa. Alright, so I put some flow aid down. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to flip one on top of the other. And rub it, but this time I'm going to like pull them apart. I'm not going to peel it because if I peel it, I'm going to get that same look and I don't want that. I want it to drag more. So I'm going to hold the bottom page and the top page. No, it didn't let me change any of the camera settings. Oh, it's not pulling. <laughs> it's completely stuck. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just going to do that. We'll lay it on there later. Oh, there we go. Okay, so I'm just pulling them apart now. That's what I wanted, but on the whole thing. So now I'm going to try it from the other way, maybe. So now I'm holding the opposite top page here, bottom page here, and dragging them apart. There we go. That's better. That's better. I think I'll just kind of... Smear that a little bit. That's too perfect, these little dots. I'm just using very light pressure here just to kind of drag that paint a little bit. There we go. Now, I'm going to dry this a little bit. Hello to those of you who are just joining us. Today is an impromptu show. I'm just testing out my webcam. And I'm working on a journal page and a Valentine card and some ATCs for some swaps that I'm doing for February. So, no real plan here. Just kind of go with it and see what happens. Alright, so I want to show you here. I hope you can see. Right in here, well, let me do this one up here. Right up here, you can see where I had the flow aid, and then I dragged the pages together, and it, it created that really streaky, blended look. You can see where it really blended. Oh, my hair's getting in the way, sorry. And then down here, where the magenta is more vibrant, that's where I use the paintbrush to just kind of flick the paint around. Alright, now I want to use this new stencil I got. 
got it from Hobby Lobby. This was like three fifty. It was super cheap, and it's huge. Can you see? Like you can't even see how big it is. Oops. Huge. But it was like three fifty, I think. Something like that. It was not expensive at all. Maybe this one was like five dollars. I don't know. They were cheap. I know that. I got three stencils, and they were all cheap. Yeah, I know it's beautiful. So now. Yeah. Going to take some. What color do I want these to be? I think I want these to be this. Now I'm going to take some Dioxazine Purple Liquitex Basics. Herky jerky. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm being herky jerky. <laughs> But the camera is herky jerky. That's funny. That's a good word. Okay, so I'm just going to lay this on here kind of crooked. Yeah, I know. I don't know. You know what? Whenever I went to come back in this time, it was really slow. So I don't know if that has anything to do with it or not. Like, um, like my computer was running slow. It's not jerky? Okay, good. So I'm not going to make this perfect. I want some to be dark and some to be light. You might hear my dogs barking. I normally put them in their kennel whenever I'm doing a live stream because they bark and then it's really distracting. But my husband was home. And I forgot that they were leaving, so I didn't bother to put the dogs up. I wonder if I could, like, turn that off, turn the high def off, because it seems to not be helping. So maybe if I turn it off. But I don't know. I've got to go look up how to work this damn camera, because it didn't let me do anything when I went into it. All right, so that's what the stencil looks like. Pretty, pretty. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I'm just going to I did just bump the camera, so you might notice the jerk right there. I don't know. I need to play with it more, like, off stream, you know, because I literally closed it in and started streaming. I didn't do anything with it yesterday after the Best Buy guy got it working for me. So I need to play with it more. Yeah. So there's that page. Oh, I just hit the camera again. Okay, try that, and then let me know what it does, what happens. All right, so now I'm going to start this one over here, I think. I'm going to do these a little bit lighter, I think. If my hair keeps getting in the way, I apologize. I can't really tell that that's happening until I look over at the camera and see this big hairy mass in the way. <laughs> yeah, it's looking pretty good. I love the stencil. My sponsor, I left paint in it by accident, so it's not really soaking up the paint. So that's why it's taken so long for me to get some coverage on here is because the paint's not really soaked up in there. And then I, well, I've only been to a Hobby Lobby once 
And that was when I went and visited my cousin. She's got a Hobby Lobby near her. And I love the store, but we don't have one here. So I had to order these online, but they were doing a Valentine's Day shipping thing. It was like $2.14 for shipping, flat rate shipping. So I ordered, and I didn't order a lot. I only ordered the three stencils. But see, that's the thing. I don't order a lot or buy a lot at one time. So I hate paying shipping because I don't feel like I order enough to pay the amount of shipping that most places charge. But if it's cheap shipping or free shipping, then I don't mind paying shipping. And it was $2.14, $2.14 flat rate shipping. So I ordered these three stencils. And I keep leaving a message on their Facebook page telling them we need a Hobby Lobby here in Norfolk, but I don't think they're listening. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I love Dick Blick, too. And see, I have a local Jerry's, but they don't sell everything in the store. So stuff that you can get online, you can't get in the store. So I still have to order sometimes. But again, I don't usually order a whole lot at one time or go buy a whole lot at one time. I usually spend between $20 and $50. And that's usually like once a month. I'll go get some stuff, you know, but I don't really need a whole lot. There's nothing really, there's a couple of mediums that I wanted to try, but I'm in no rush to try those. And there's some pencils that I want to try, but again, I have to order them online. And the pencils by themselves are expensive, so I don't want to have to pay a whole lot for shipping to go along with it. And I'm only going to order like five freaking pencils because the pencils are so expensive. So for me to pay $15 shipping on five pencils just doesn't make any sense. All right. I'm going to hit it with the heat gun again. Yeah, see, yeah, if I if I was only going a couple of times a year, then I would spend more. But I have a Michaels, I have an AC Moore, and I have a local Jerry's. So pretty much everything that I need, I can get locally. But there are a few things that I have to order. So it really annoys me when I have to pay for shipping for such a small amount of stuff. Now, if I was making big orders, I wouldn't have a bit of problem paying shipping. If I was ordering $100 worth of stuff or $200 worth of stuff, then I wouldn't mind paying shipping. But if I'm only ordering $20 to $50 worth of stuff, I hate paying $15. Even $50, I wouldn't mind paying shipping. But I, I don't ever order that much. All right. Now, oh, I got this. I'm going to use this. Okay, so I went into my Jerry's the other day, and I got this. It's Dale Rowney Artist Acrylic Ink, and this one is called Velvet Violet, and it's a purple. I have to mix it up, though. Hold on. They don't have the one I want. It's called Moonstone or Moon Shadow, something like that. Oh, yeah. See, you need a lot of stuff. Watercolors with glitter in it? What's that? Are they the um the um, perfect pearls or whatever they're called? Not perfect pearls. Hmm. I saw one brand of watercolors that had... Oh, the ones I saw, were they cakes? I don't remember. I did see some that had uh, glitter in them. How much was the jelly plate at Dick Flick? Pebo cakes. Huh. So I'm just squeezing this to get the ink moving around. Because you'll see that all the, see now it's starting to let loose. All the mica powder sinks to the bottom in these. So you have to really shake them. Once you get it going like that, though, it's easier to do. But I kind of see how it's um, pushing the ink around. And I'm just squeezing the little, the little um, dropper. Is 
the jelly plates are cheap on eBay. Because I was thinking about making one. Because I don't really make art that way. I don't think a jelly plate is going to be like my go-to thing. But I still want to play with one. And I made it, you know, once I use it, I might totally love it. So, that's, but but just looking at it, I don't usually make a whole lot of, like when I'm doing something like this, it might be beneficial. But for the most part, I don't do painted papers. I don't, I don't make art that way. So, I'm trying to get this last little bit because you want all of the mica powder blended in before you start working with this. Wow, and that's for what size? Is that for the eight by ten or whatever it is? Is that the big one? See, I have I was gonna buy the stuff because it was only like seven dollars for the gelatin that you would need. <clears throat> yeah, see, that's a good price. That's not bad. But if I knew I was going to use it, I wouldn't mind paying that much, you know? But knowing me, the way that I make art, I don't think I would use it that much. Yeah, I found a really great tutorial, and I was actually going to try and make one. But... Well, how long does the jelly plate last, though? Do you have to buy a new jelly plate, or is that one, like, forever? Because I don't want to pay $30 for three weeks. <laughs> that would really piss me off. <laughs> so the jelly plate lasts forever but the homemade ones only last three weeks okay so I'm just going to take some of this midnight uh, velvet violet and just kind of swirl it on here I'm going to pick it up and let it run a little bit. Crank. I don't remember where I saw the glitter watercolors. I saw them somewhere, some brand, but I don't remember which brand. <clears throat> Excuse me. Man. My sinuses are irritating me. Okay, so now I'm going to do this thing again where I just lay one on top of the other and rub it together. Because I don't want that ink so thick and noticeable and not peel it apart. So now it's on there. Oops, I missed a spot up there at the top. Right here again. There we go. So now I have my, and you can see all the iridescence from the ink, how shiny it is. Eight, eight of the watercolors. How much was that? Here's the other one. So I'm pretty happy with that now. So I want to dry it a little bit. good. That was a dick flip? That's a super price. Wow. Alright, now I want to cut these out and start working on the actual whatever they are. So this one's going to be the journal page.
I see I still have this left over that I could use as collage or something. I swear this does not look the same size as an index card. It looks so much smaller for some reason. Okay. So now I have this whole sheet that I'll use for ATCs. Right, yeah, not good quality, but perfect for journaling, though. All right, so now I need to come up with a cheesy Valentine saying, because the Valentine swap that I'm in is a cheesy Valentine card. So I need to think of a good little saying to go on my little Valentine here. And it's still wet. I can feel the paper is just... You know how the paper feels cold and saturated when it's too wet? It's like that. But it's okay for now. And then these, I think I want to go ahead and cut out a couple. So I have to do two for a swap. And this is... I'll just do the two and a half here. Because I'm... Three, yeah. So, I'm going to find my two and a half inch space. Which is there. Everything looks smaller when I use this ruler. I, think it's, I hope I don't have some kind of funky off size ruler. That would not be good. Now three and a half comes to here. And I wouldn't normally have cut this this way, but I didn't want to waste the paper. Ooh, I can make inches out of the other one. Robin was asking for inches. Did she ever make it back in? No? Hey Judy, hey J Boy, did I say that right? I am still here live. If you're just joining us, welcome. Let me share the link again for those who are just joining us. There we go. Um, so yeah, normally I wouldn't have cut it that way because I lose a lot right here. But um, I was losing it anyway because this was already cut at three. So I'm fine with that. Um, let's see. Let me go ahead and mark out another ATC. So I'm just going to actually cut this straight across. Actually, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait on that. I'm going to cut this one out. Because I may not get to any more today anyway. Yeah. <laughs> it might be too thick for washi tape. Oh, I cut it wrong. might be too thick. The little pieces? Yeah, maybe. So now I'm going to make inches out of this. Let's measure here. Have you guys, are you guys in the inchy swap? I did a really quick inchy swap for the month of February because we want to see if people would prefer to have the swaps hosted here or on the swap bot site, which is where we've been doing them. So uh, I did a little quickie. Yay, there's Robin. Robin, I'm cutting inches right now. <laughs> so I um so I did a little impromptu, a little quickie swap for the month of February, and it's just inches, and they're really fast. So did I cut that? Look, with a ruler, I can't draw a straight line. Can you see that? Totally not straight. Yeah, I think SwapBot is kind of a pain too. It's like, and it's another site that you have to go sign up for. It's another place that you have to go join. And then when you want to do the swap, you have to go find it over there. And 
it's kind of a pain. I mean, it does take a lot of the work out of it, though. I do like that. It takes a lot of the work out of hosting a swap because there's nothing really that you have to do. You just um, you just put in the information for the swap, and then people sign up, and it picks the partners for you. And I do like that you get the ratings and stuff. That helps keep people accountable and helps them do the swap, which I do like. But, yeah, it's... Yeah. <laughs> Robin loves inchies. Did she did she tell you that? <laughs> she loves them. So yeah, so we're that's why we're doing the the swaps on both places cuz we we really want to see what people prefer. If you would rather have the swaps just hosted here. Or if you like going to swap bots, I mean, there's there's pros and cons for both. There's pros and cons for for both sites. So that's why we're running. I think we might actually just keep running them on both sites for a little while anyway. I don't know. I don't know yet. We well, shall see. You swear a lot with inchies. You do. <laughs> so I'm making inchies right now. I'll actually go ahead and work on these instead of the other ones since we're talking about inches so much. All right, so basically inches are one inch square pieces of art. So this will be four inch. That, that does not look like an inch. I think I drew that line wrong. Oh, Lord. <laughs> this is, oh, that's not even an inch. Look at that. Crap. I drew the line in the wrong spot. Okay, that looks more like two one inch squares. Okay, that's an inch, and that's an inch. Okay, so <clears throat> this, see how small that is, right? This is four inches. So this will become four pieces of art. This little tiny ass thing here <laughs> is going to get even smaller. So you just want to make your one inch pieces and I actually did a video that I have to upload to YouTube it's going live today and it's me making my inches for the swap but if these turn out well I might use these so now I've got four little pieces of art All right and then you you do these just the same way you would do an ATC or a journal page or whatever it's just one inch square so it's a lot less space to work with, which can be a lot, a lot more difficult, a lot more frustrating, because you can only do so much, you know? You can't really, like, like, I'll try and draw a face on one, which did not work out well the last time I did it. I'll just tell you that. My girl's faces were all kinds of messed up. And you know what? I had a pencil sharpener, but somebody has obviously used it and not put it back. People use my stuff and then forget the address on it, so it doesn't come back to where it belongs. Flower. Oh, I could do a flower. Flowers would be good. All right, so let's just paint a flower. Take this one. Take some magenta paint, I think. Uh oh. Yeah, see, that's why I ended up doing abstracts. My inches ended up being abstract because I tried to draw a face and it didn't work out. See, now is the time I need to be able to zoom. And the only thing I can do is literally physically bring the camera down. All right, so still not as close as I would like it, though. It won't go any lower. I wonder if I could put this on top of something. What could I work on? I could work on the box. There we go. Well, once the inches are made, you can do whatever you want with them. I think I'm just going to...
just draw a simple little flower here. No. Um, well, wait. No. <laughs> there are no buttons on this camera at all. Mm, no. No zoom. Which would be nice. All right, so there's my little flower. And now, I have to fill it in. Let's see here. What colors do I have that work? Should I fill it in with flocking powder? I know! It doesn't make any sense. It's really starting to annoy me. I'll put this on a white background. Yeah, you would think. And I'm I was when I was looking this up, I wanted to make sure that it had zoom capability. Obviously it did not. But I didn't know that at the time. Otherwise I wouldn't have bought it. Oh well. <sighs> okay, now I need now I'm going to use some, <clears throat> oh really, I think I'm going to use some, yeah, I'm going to use it, mm, no, I need this. So I'm going to use some crystal lacquer, I think, do I want to do that, do I want to do that, I think I want to emboss it, actually I think I'm going to emboss it, I wonder how that would look, I don't know, we're going to try and find out. So I need a pen. I have some gel pens that stay wet for a while, which allow me to emboss with them. Oh no, my blue one is open. Oh, that's not good. Oh, I must have find the lid. There it is. All right, so what I'm going to do is, these are, hey everyone that's just joining us. Oh yeah, you might be able to find a little tiny tripod at the dollar store. These are Uniball Signo glitter gel pens. Mm. And they stay wet for a while. So I'm just going to go in right into the center my flower and color a little bit with the gel pens. I'm not completely covering it. It's not perfect. Then I'm going to take some embossing powder, and this has got glitter, and it might be too big and chunky. I don't know. We're trying it. Screw it. We're doing it. Okay, so there's that. Robin, you would love this embossing powder. It's got glitter in it. <laughs> it's purple, though. It's purple and sparkly. I have my camera literally taped on to a little tripod that came with something else. It was a tripod for a game that we had. Now I want to emboss this. Oops. So if you've never embossed before, what you do is, oh, I just got glitter all over that thing. Okay. <laughs> I know, right? This is Robin's nightmare right here. Inchies and glitter and pink. <laughs> all right, so uh, the way you emboss is 
you either put ink down with a stamp or with a pen like I just did and you sprinkle your embossing powder on top so that it sticks. You can see you can see the big chunks of glitter in there. See them? So that's stuck down. Now I'm going to hit it with the heat gun and it will solidify and turn into this lacquered like stuff. <clears throat> Just gonna hold it with a paintbrush once I get it back on camera. that embossed or not. Oh yeah, I did. Hmm, let me do it a little bit longer. Here we go. And so now it is embossed. There we go. <laughs> I, I have learned to be careful with glitter because I have had my share of glitter catastrophes, let me tell you. So that one's, I think that's done. I'm going to draw a little stem on here, I think. And I'll write a word on here. All right, so did the little flower and wrote the word bloom. So there's that inchy. That one's done. Now what else can we do? Let's, um, where's my lid? So let's do some, I like the embossing, but I think I'm going to do some, uh, what is this? Actually, I think I'm going to do some black glitter on this one. So now I'm going to take some glossy accents. I think the inchies, like, they're so small for me. I can't do anything really specific. I have to be random and more abstract with it because it's just, it's too small for me to do anything really, you know. I'm, I'm trying to find a pen. I have a straight pen. I just can't get to it. Oh. <laughs> okay. So my uh, glossy accents tube is clogged, so I just... Press a little straight pin down in there. So now I'm just going to do some I'm just drawing some squiggly lines with the glossy accents. I don't think I even covered the whole thing, but it's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. So now I'm going to take some black glitter. Sprinkle that on there. There's that one. Try 
trying to get it to focus. There we go. Yeah, that one turned out pretty good. Okay, there's that. Now let's do another embossed one. So I have a uh, red glitter. No, that won't look good. That won't look good. Let's do a black one. Let's do some black embossing. What are we going to do, though? What to do, what to do. Um, how about... Yeah, it is good. The black glitter is good. So let's uh, let's do let's do one like that, but embossing powder. So let's start here. Sprinkle some embossing powder on that. So I'm just using a green gel pen because it's going to be covered by the embossing powder anyway. So that's the embossing powder on there. Yes, by all means, get coffee. <laughs> all right. So I'm just drawing these little squiggles with the gel pen and then sprinkling on the embossing powder while it's wet. These are turning out much better than the first ones I did because I think I was trying to do art on these little tiny things and I just don't make art that way. But these abstract ones are turning out much better. I mean mine ended up being abstract but they didn't start out that way so I think this time I had the intention. <laughs> Yeah, I learned by accident because I didn't know how to emboss and I was writing something and I wanted it embossed and so I had to use a pen and I knew it had to stay wet. So I used my gel pens because you know they stay wet for a little while. They have an embossing pen but it's expensive. I'm not paying for that crap. <laughs> Alright, so there's the black embossing powder. Now this black embossing powder is going to come out like lacquer. It is gorgeous and it's raised and gorgeous. Alright, so I'm going to hit this with the heat gun. There's that one. I like this one a lot. Oh, that's so pretty. Yeah, I don't think you can really do a whole lot. Of... Were you able to get the... Um... Aww. <laughs> do you do the... Um... What was I going to ask you, Robin? Oh, did your little picture frame thing work? So I'm going to use some purple glitter now, I think. Okay, so now I'm going to do the same thing but with purple glitter. So I've got the glossy accents again. And I think I'm going to do some little polka dots on this one. If I can get it out. See, that's the thing about these ones with the little nozzles. They clog up so quickly. Like, I just used this. I just used it, and it's clogged. I don't know how to stop it from doing that. 
I wish I did though, because I would. Oh, I have puff paint. That might be cool too. Oh, yeah. Were the inches too small? So I'm just doing polka dots of the glossy accents here. They were going pretty well, but I think I've messed up my line now. So I don't know if you can see them. Yeah, the inches are too small. Yeah, every time. No, you can't put a you can't put anything on it because the cap is supposed to keep it from clogging, but it doesn't. And then I'm afraid that the pin would just get glued down in there anyway. Okay, so I've got a bunch of little beads of glossy accent. See, that's just so small. <laughs> If you're doing like a quilt, or I can't even imagine doing a freaking quilt with 1.5 inch squares. A qu that would be like a lifetime quilt right there. I would take a lifetime to make. <laughs> For me anyway, and I would get frustrated with that. That's just so small. All right, so there's the other one. That's the purple glitter. Oh, yeah. See, I could totally see that. <laughs> 15 years. <laughs> yeah, that one turned out pretty good. I wish it would focus. There we go. Oh, I think Chris and Christopher are home. If they are, that's my cue. Hello? Hello, how are you doing? Just finishing up my show. We got a pet. Better not. My, my husband and son cannot go to the pet store without bringing home a pet. They apparently went to the pet store and they have brought home a pet. Careful, babe. Just bite. It better not. You want to see it? What? It's soft. It better not be alive. I mean it. It's alive. No, don't touch me with anything that's alive. It's alive. It's alive. It's soft and it's cuddly. Alright, so they're gonna they're putting something in my hand. I don't know what it is. I don't they're alive, soft and cuddly. <clears throat> and small. Let me see. It better not be a rat. No. Or a hamster. No, it's someone it's gonna be someone's friend. Who? Sorrel. It better not be a cat either. No more pets. We have four dogs and a cat. No more pets. No, no bugs. They would. They know better than to bring a bug. Let me see. Let me see. We already have a name for it. What? This is <laughs> name is me, Maya. Maya. No, get out. No, no. Should I turn the camera on? I'm gonna switch my camera. Hang on. I don't like this. They play this game with me where I have to close my eyes and hold out my hands. I don't like that game. <laughs> okay, I'm like, I'm freaking out. Can you see the tension in my, in, like, I'm freaking out already. No, they would never bring a spider. No. All right, let me see. All right, close your eyes. Awesome. Tighter. I don't like it. Tighter. I don't like it. Tighter. I don't like it. Tighter. Christopher, if it's alive, for real, I'm going to drop it. Ah! I don't like it. Okay, get it off. Okay, camera, just close. Get your neck. I don't like it. Ah, it's warm. It's warm. Get it off me. Get it off me. I mean it now. Get it off. Get it off. Get it off. It's warm. Get it off now. Now. Christopher. <laughs> Get it off. I'm not joking. Get it off. I don't like it. Okay, it sounds like a bag, so I can relax. That's a freaking fish. Oh, my God. This is what they bring home. 
<laughs> That's kind of stuff we do. That's how they torture me. It's warm. That water is warm, and it. it that was, water is freezing cold. Feel it. No, that water is warm. That's tepid. <laughs> See how they torture me? <laughs> All right. So, Wood's name is Rita, and then the other one's Beth. <laughs> Back it up, son. There we go. That's our new pets. Yeah. My cat just discovered we had a fish tank like two days ago. This is not very bright. <laughs> All right, so my inchies are Do done. Do you want a real cat that we got? Not right now, because I know you didn't get one. No, really, we got a cat. His name is Maya. Okay. Yeah, right. I remember it too. Okay. I got the inchies done, and I have the background done. I have this for the ATCs. And this is going to be the journal page. And Close this, your eyes. this is going to be the Valentine. Close your eyes. Yeah. And that's our cat. <laughs> and then this is the Inji's. This is the glitter, purple glitter dots. I'm going to try and turn the light around here. Start to me. Okay, purple glitter dots. Thank you. Okay, and then this is the black glitter swirl. Yay, thanks for being here, especially such short notice. <laughs> this is the black embossing powder. I wish you could see the shine on that. Oh, there we go. See how shiny the embossing powder is? It's like lacquer. And then this is the little flower one. Uh-oh. See, if you drop them, they're gone. <laughs> they're so small. You drop it, it's lost. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> I don't think you would want me waking you up in the middle of the night to say, Hey, go get online. I'm doing an impromptu show. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, they turned out pretty good. Thanks for being here and helping me figure out, I'm scooting up, <laughs> helping me figure out that my camera doesn't zoom or allow me to do anything. <laughs> like, I had no makeup, no hair. I brushed my hair. That's about as far as I've gotten today. Um, I'm going to try and play with the camera and see if I can fix the settings before I stream. So my, my Tuesday schmooze, am I doing one this week? I think I'm doing Tuesday Schmooze Day this week, and I think it's a glue show. I think I said I'm doing, you know, I'm still doing the products demystified, and so I'm doing glue this week. I think. But uh, I'm going to try and fix settings before I stream and see if, if I can. And if not, then this is what I got because I'm not paying $100 for another one. But I think it was okay. It was good. I think the whole stream was better than my other ones have been with the other computer. So it's either this one that's slightly pixelated or the other one where it overheats and I turn into a robot and then, yeah, exactly, and then I get kicked off and it doesn't work. So, look, I'm going to show you how I have it on here. This is a little tripod that came with another, another game that we had. And so I've got my camera taped on there. <laughs> The schedule for tomorrow may not be up yet. I don't know. Annie's really good about that. She usually posts the schedule. But she may not have it up yet. I don't know. I haven't looked yet because I need to look and see what I'm doing. Thank you for being here. I appreciate it. And uh, thanks for hanging and helping with the camera and telling me looks good, doesn't look good, all that good stuff. That was very helpful to me. I... I have embossing powder and stuff on my Mac. I think I'm doing tomorrow. I think I'm doing Tuesday Schmooze Day tomorrow. If I'm on this week, I'll be on at 11 for my Tuesday Schmooze Day. And I'm almost positive I'm doing a glue comparison, but not 100%. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, thrift store is always good. Thanks again for being here. I appreciate it, especially such short notice. And if I'm not on that this week, I will definitely be on next week. And I will see you all then. Thanks for being here. Thanks for helping me out. I appreciate it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.